make the horse come to the trough and drink now. I can't, I can't, I can't, um, I can't make the, I can't make him drink. I can't make him be, be about his business. I can't do it for him. I said what I would do and I said it in front of everybody and I'm not going to change that. Period. I'm not. I say, I, 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 I said I'll pay for the birth certificate. I'll pay for the social security card. Well, you don't have to pay for Social Security, but I said I'll do all the paperwork, pay for that birth certificate. I'll send it right to his doorstep where it'll go right to his hand, period. It'll go right to his hand, period. So if he can't make time and find a way so we, we can get the official connection or he can he only if he don't want to talk and he don't want, I don't know. I can't talk for him and neither can y'all. But he can at least send an address. He send the address, then I'll send it to him. If that's all he wants, he don't even have to talk to me and cap me to get that. I'm gonna do that because God told me to do that. I'll do that just so he can get the stuff he needs and start helping himself. I don't have to be a part of it. See, that's the part where you leave the ego out. I don't have to be a part of it. I don't have to talk to him every day. I don't have to be the one to lead him to his greatest success. God got him. God only using me as a vehicle. God only using me as a tool and speaking through me and using me. If It might only be my purpose just to send him that birth certificate and that social security card. That might be the key pieces he needs to start getting himself together, to get his life together. I'm fine with that. See, y'all Y'all live in ego. Y'all want to be some. Y'all want to seem and look on the outside as if you a good mom or you the best mom or you the best auntie and grandma. Y'all, that's for y'all. I'm going to leave that for y'all. I'm not doing it for that. Lady T, we fine. It's nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's just the uh, people in the comments and the, um, the trolls, they just trying to stir stuff up. I don't have to listen to none. Y'all can't tell. Y'all can't tell somebody, mama, what they got to listen to. I've been listening. I've been sitting back. It's nothing to listen to. If Abdul want to talk, y'all don't have to tell my son when he can talk and when he can't. Like he told y'all, he has a mouth. He has a mind. If he had something to say, he would say it, period. He don't care. We don't care about y'all. He's just like me. If he wanted to say something, if he wanted to argue back, if he y'all want him to be disrespectful, y'all want it to be a fight, y'all want it to be an agitation, it ain't no more fight in him. Like if it was something for him to fight about, if I was telling a lie, if it was something for him to fight about, then he would have said it. He would have been fighting. He would have been fighting. It was nothing for him to fight no more. He tired of fighting. You ever get, see, y'all, some of y'all, y'all never get tired of, y'all never get tired of lying. Y'all never get tired of being deceptive. Y'all never get tired of being evil and being wicked. Y'all will continue forever telling a lie. Why y'all mad? Because that man don't want to lie no more. The, the, be, telling a lie and being a liar and being fake is a burden. It is a burden. It's a, it takes a special type of nigga or woman to sit there and be fake and lie every day and look at people's face and get on a live talking to thousands of people and sitting there know that you're telling a lie, making stuff up. That takes a special type of person. But it also takes a special type of person is to be commended for somebody that stand up and, 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 and tell the truth and take accountability and just submit and like, yo, and submit to the truth. My son don't have to say nothing else to me. He don't have to. We said what we had to say. We said we love each other. We apologize to each other. We meet each other on the middle. I really don't care about what that middle stuff is. All I care is about our relationship going forth and being there for my child and walking him through this transition. Walking him out of this dark place. Nobody is going to pull my mind. I'm not going to allow them, and I'm going to do everything I can. He's his own person to not allow y'all to pull his mind and pull our relationship into a dark place because y'all want to see it there. We don't have no drama for Bigo. We don't got, it ain't no tea over here. I told y'all it's nothing but water. It's nothing but water. 
It's pure over here. It's pure water. All you're going to keep seeing is a saved, a saved woman that loved God, a not-so-perfect woman, but she, I'm perfect in the love that I have for God and my faith for God. All you're going to keep seeing is my son keep getting saved, getting better and better, our relationship getting better and better. We might hit some bumps. We might hit some curves. We then again we might not we might float from now on now and y'all gonna just continue to see us be an example to show people that just because things is bad it look worse than what it really is it don't gotta stay like that that's not a prophecy over your life that's not a word over your life I'm gonna let y'all keep watching I'm gonna let y'all y'all been talking this whole time and it still ain't did y'all niggas no good it still didn't change the outcome it still didn't change what God has done in our life and what he's done on this app this I told y'all and I'm gonna get y'all this again this app will never be the same it will never be the same for those of y'all that keep trying to turn it negative and you keep trying to get some tea and you just need some tea, you need some gossip so bad you can't live, y'all about to be real thirsty. Y'all about to be real dried out because this app never going to be the same. And I pray to see more positive stories. I pray to see more people doing good. I pray to see more people being leaders, stepping up, speaking out for what is right and what is good. I st I um I pray to see more the people that's trying to do positive things, bring the community get together, do positive things in the community. I pray that they take over this app in a sweep of love and positivity and i pray that they successful everything that go against the will of god everything that promote negativity and separation and the and and the, the dividing of the people and, and it promotes hate and it promotes depression and it promotes people to feel bad about their self and it's promoting bullying i pray that all of these things be destroyed it be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus on this app now how about that how about that was that a was that enough was that enough detail for y'all because i can keep talking i can keep talking I got a lot more prayers in me, and I guarantee you I'll live to sit here and see God continue to work on this app. I'll continue to see it until he shut it down. In the name of Jesus, if this app keep being negative and it keep pulling people down into drug addiction and negativity, I pray in the name of Jesus. I, I, I pray this whole server crash. I pray this whole server crash and people find something God replaced what they looking for in Bigo. He replaced it with every good and proper thing in their life. Now, how about that? Do y'all want me to keep talking? Do y'all want me to?